Josh Giddy went on to win Rookie of the Month another time, and it's honestly no surprise given his play on the court. But the fact that the 19-year-old wasn't always grabbing coaches' attention is. Believe it or not, he was rejected back when he just started out. How did he make it to the big stage then? Find out in today's video where we'll be talking about the brutal snub that left Josh Giddy gutted and lit fire behind stunning NBA rise. First up, Josh was rejected. FoxSports.com.au has been bringing the young player's story to life in a four-part series. Out of the four of these, the third might just have been the most shocking. It was revealed that the 16-year-old Josh Giddy was rejected not once, but three times from state-level basketball. The news came as a shock to many fans, who never expected the league to reject a man of his talent. He was told on three separate occasions that he was not ready for the big stage yet. The news was equally shocking for Josh's ex-teammate, Patty Twiggs. While talking to FoxSports.com.au, the Melbourne Tigers player said Josh stood out from the competition. Patty had himself seen him absolutely kill it at the camps, which is why he thought he deserved a spot on the state team. Another teammate, Liam Conway, had similar feelings and said that most people thought that Giddy would make it. So how did he handle it? After being cut from the under-16 state team, Josh was absolutely gutted, as revealed by his coach, Phil Durnell. He said you could hear a pin drop back on the ride home after his rejection. The coach thought that Josh was thinking about playing footy. He knew that the age of 15, something like that, was going to make or break Josh. Fortunately, it did the former. The defeat became a chip on the shoulder for the Australian NBA star, since he only went on to train harder than ever. In the words of Durnell, Giddy started training like no tomorrow. That obviously worked out well for the Tigers, who had managed to win the state title that September with Josh as MVP. His teammate Twig knew well enough that it was all him who put on the show. Twig added that winning the state title was Josh's way of getting back to the coaches, who ended up rejecting him. What did he do next? Josh didn't stop after that. Durnell reports that one late Friday night around 11 p.m., Josh rang him up only to say that he had a bad game and wanted to train at the Melbourne Sports and Aquatics Center tomorrow. It was a smart move on Josh's part because all the state players were also showing up to the center on the very court Josh planned to train on. It clearly worked in his favor because the next minute, AIS coaches were swarming Donnell, asking him all about Josh Giddy. More specifically, they were interested in knowing why a 6'3 talented player like him didn't make the state team. Was he injured? A lot of folks think that a big reason as to why Josh was rejected was that a few had doubts about his size and defense compared with the rest of the competition. Plus, there was also the fact that competition was pretty tight back then. In the words of Nick Abdichivis, director of coaching, everyone at the club was good enough to make it to the state level back then. He further added that Giddy's size and speed might have held him back. There were other guards who were just a tiny bit quicker and stronger than him, and obviously it didn't work well in Josh's favor. Durnell didn't take the rejection of his star pupil very well either. In his words, he was scathing. He couldn't comprehend why they couldn't see the potential that he did in Josh. Durnell himself was out there watching it every night, every morning, and every evening. He had a front row seat to Josh's journey, from rejected player to NBA star. He compared Josh to New Zealand basketball legend Paro Cameron, who was also a maniac when it came to training. He would go into the gym and shoot free throws until he had 500. Durnell said that Josh had got the same fire in his belly. Now his second time at the state finals. Giddy managed to take the Tigers to the state finals for a second time, despite the fact that he was up against Andrew Gaze. Gaze was a part of the Tigers' inaugural NBL squad and had deemed Josh Josh a bottom age player, putting him in the 16 ones. That obviously didn't sit well with Giddy. He straight up said that he wanted to play and that he wasn't sitting behind those blockers. A bold move considering that the other guys were bigger and stronger compared to him, as Durnell recalls. Josh ended up playing for the 16 twos, which worked out well for him because he once again found himself in the state finals. According to Durnell, no other kid would have dared to do this in their right mind. He was still a growing kid in a 15 year old body, but he managed to bring his all to the court. Durnell recounts that in one game, Josh was in an emergency in the under-16s. This was when he got rejected from the state team and was spending every waking minute on the court doing practice matches. He was up in the youth league, the under-23 team, and Josh was killing it over there as well. On the other hand, the rest of the team was doing so well, but Josh wasn't happy with his performance. He told Phil that he played crap, to which Donnell responded with shock. He made it realize that he was hanging out with a 22-year-old and making it look easy. According to Donnell, this exactly worked in his favor. Josh wasn't overconfident despite his skill, he stayed humble and he didn't take anything for granted, which ended up working out for him. Josh gets his chance. Josh finally got the chance to prove himself in the Australian Junior Championships when he first got to represent his state and show all the coaches just what big mistake they had made rejecting him. The 16-year-old gave a stellar performance with an average of 20 points, 6 assists, and 8.3 rebounds. It was this very play that ended up putting Josh on the map. He received offers from Utah, TCU, Rutgers, and Washington State. Indernell 
sales words, the interest was through the roof. Josh Slater ended up going to the U.S. twice that year, once for the NCAA exposure camp in Houston and the other time to the NBA Academy Tournament. The offers were piling up like crazy. Next, his time at the NBA Global Academy. Giddy spent most of his time at the NBA Global Academy that he joined a year before. The Academy's technical director, Marty Clark, told Josh that he is what he is. People make and miss teams for different reasons. The Academy thought that Josh could be really good if he put in the work. It didn't matter what happened next. His future held more meaning now. He still felt like he didn't belong and wasn't as good as he thought he was. NBA Senior Director of International Basketball Operations, Chris Ebersole, revealed to Fox Sports that he was aware of just how much it all mattered to Josh. Chris revealed that the two had talked about it on different occasions. Josh was emotionally still devastated by the fact that he didn't make it to the state team. Clark did step in at times to remind him that his best basketball would always be ahead of him, but Josh always felt like he could have done more amidst dribbles and early morning practice. Ebersole said that if another player had been in his place, they would have most likely given up and decided this wasn't it for them. But Josh wasn't like those guys. He was able to take that defeat head on and turn it around into fuel for his career. If that isn't a testament to his strength and character, we don't know what is. Coaching director Abdutivik added that Josh didn't show it, but he really wanted to prove all these folks wrong. And he did in an amazing way, making everyone involved in his journey very, very proud. Josh never complained about any of it, and he never lost the love for the game. He's come a long way, and he's out there spreading that love now to a much younger audience who idolize him. Abdichivik added that Josh might have restored faith in the Australian basketball system, proving that it was second to none. He truly deserves all the credit for dealing with this head on. Now let's take a look at his career at a glance. The young Australian later went on to become the sixth overall pick in the 2021 NBA draft. He's been a star point guard for the Oklahoma City Thunder. When he isn't killing it on the court with his smooth dribbles and effortless passes, he's got his fans swooning with those black locks of his. In a short span of time, Giddy has managed to rack up 12.5 points, 7.8 rebounds, and 6.4 assists in 31.5 minutes per game in a total of 54 appearances. Josh is currently dealing with a hip injury, but he should be back on the court soon enough. That's all for today. Bye now.